Let's go. New year, new me, turn it up a new degree. I'm gonna make it to the top if it's the last thing I see. Work hard every day, work hard, then we play. I'll be doing everything in my own damn way. Ain't nobody tell me shit, I'm on top of it. Writing hits that make other people feel like writing hits. We gon' get every little goal that we wanna get. Never quit, we don't even know what it means to quit. Write it down, what you want, what you need, what you see. Everything that you wanna be. Put it out in the world, that's your destiny. In your mind, what you need is to have a I'm gonna make it, make it, make it to the top Cause I never stop My own switch doesn't have enough I think it's broken, I think it's lost I guess that's why I never take a loss huh. Turn it up a new degree. I'm gonna make it to the top of this the last thing I see. Work hard every day, work hard, then we play. I'll be doing everything in my own damn way. Ain't nobody tell me shit. I'm on top of this. What's up, everybody? Welcome to BCW Midnight Mayhem. I am Austin Angel, joined by Ryan Staggs. As always, we are live from Japan today. Staggs, how are you doing this evening, my friend? Konnichiwa, my friend. I am ready for a great night of professional wrestling. Man, do we have a great show in store for you guys tonight. We are going to kick it off with Axel taking on the rookie Preston Knight. Axel trying to turn his season around. Been a, been a rough start for Axel with a 0-2, lo losing his title to adjacent back on February 7th. And then dropped his next match to Akuma back on St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Axel looking to turn things around with a victory here tonight. And if memory serves me correct, I believe Preston is also looking for his first victory. So someone should get a W in the win column here today. You got Stags. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say Axel, mainly because his bedtime is 9.30. So I'm going to assume he wants to get this done and over with very quickly. Poor Axel. <laughs> What, 9.30 is a respectable bedtime. I'm not going to bitch about that. I mean, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> chat's pulling for Preston, it looks like. All night long, Chance, in the chat. All night long. I forgot about that. Yeah, I'm changing my prediction. Never mind. <laughs> KB trying to start a movement <laughs> for Preston Knight. <laughs> <laughs> going to be KB's personal rookie of the year. Um, Getting them over. Uh, other, uh, good lord, I can't speak tonight apparently. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and go against the popular pick here tonight. I think Axel gets his first win, at least for his sake. I hope so. <clears throat> he had a great see, the season meme, one. See, the meme answer is for me to say Preston, but in all seriousness, Axel is a former world <laughs> champion. Exactly. I have to give him his due. And he really does need to pick up this victory here tonight if he is going to have a respectable season moving forward. Like you said, he's already had a rough start. Yeah. He can't lose to a rookie like this. Axel needs to pull out the dub here, or uh, it's going to be very, very rough for him for the next uh, couple couple months. On the flip side, though, big opportunity here for Preston to get a win over a former world champion. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm sure both these guys are going to want it super, super bad. I just think it looks a lot worse on Preston than it does Axel, and I think that's the deciding factor. I think it looks worse on Preston? Or what? I'm sorry. I meant, I meant yeah, I'm sorry. It, it works. It is worse on Axel to lose to Preston gotcha, than it is for gotcha, Preston gotcha. to lose. Okay. I follow. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, Preston, a rough two first matches here for him. He had Chris Danger back on episode one, another former world champion, although not be it not in BCW, still a world champ nonetheless. And then, was he on the Day Zero card? He was not. So yeah, only his second matchup here in BCW so far. So Axel definitely with the experience and ring time here over Preston. Preston, coming out the gate hot so far. <coughs> Third. Going to big on that arm to Axel.
Axel getting them up. Electric chair drop. Two very similar styles here between these two gentlemen. Both of them like to fly as we see Axel already on the top rope here tonight. Oh, but decides Ooh. against it. Maybe a bit too far for him. Preston didn't quite get up where he wanted him to. Good decision. It shows the maturity of Axel right there. Axel. Don't be needed to go. Power bombing Preston Knight onto the floor there off the apron. Exactly. He goes off that top rope move. He may crash and burn. Decided to go a different route. <coughs> still ended up with a giant impact nonetheless. Good decision. Preston followed up with a hell of a drop kick though. Got way up there. Clearing off the announce table over here. Not sure what he's trying to do. A nice DDT Ooh. from Axel. I think he busted Preston wide open there. Sir. Maturity and 9.30 bedtime don't normally go hand in hand. <laughs> oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met any grandparent ever? <laughs> they go to bed well before 9.30. <clears throat> exactly. It's like, or come well on after. now. Oh, what is this? That's, that's Akuma's music. Akuma. Been a thorn in Axel's side here ever since Midnight Mayhem has started. Oh, and Preston Ooh. capitalizes. <laughs> kick to the back of the head. Going to work on the legs and back of Axel trying to take away that high powered, high flying offense. Great Preston move. On the top rope now. Like you said, you only get a couple opportunities. Oh, nice but he wasted DDT. it up there. Axel got to have eyes on the back of his head at this point. Could just be waiting for Akuma to show up. I can't say I blame him. I'd be looking out for him too. That is a scary, uh, I would say human Ooh. being, but I don't think he's technically a human. So I'm not sure what to call him. He's a being, all right. He is a being, just not a human <laughs> being. He might just be, a, I think he's more of a deity. Axel's ah. a senior citizen. <laughs> What's up, Shade? Shade, you are in the main event tonight, if you did not know. United States Championship match opportunity. Axel here going for a twist of fate. Delivers. Hooks the leg. We've seen him put many people away with this. Ooh. No. Ooh. Preston kicking out at two. Took Preston. quite a bit to keep Preston down. Axel going to have to do the same amount. Went for a swanton with Preston. Got the knees up. Preston watching a bit of film. Knew what was coming there. A suplex from Preston. Sir, Preston's able to follow up real quickly. He made a mistake earlier not following up uh, when he was distracted, but taking the match back over now. He's already ate a swan time, so he needs to start getting some big off. Oh, but Axel also getting the knees up. Both high-flying finishers not connecting so far. Might think whoever connects first gets the victory here. But both of them 0 for 1 so far. Preston going back to the top. Going to look for it again. Connects. Got it. Hooks the leg. Is that enough? One, two, two. no. Oh. Axel kicking out at two. Preston going huge. right back to the top rope. What you got to do? What's he thinking? Normal 450. Ooh, 450. Can you capitalize? Stalking Axel. What's he thinking? What's he looking for here? Ooh, flat. First. Oh, flat. Ooh, Ooh, wow. Interesting submission hole here from Preston. Doesn't look like he Fla has it in quite tight enough, though. Axel oh. doesn't tap out, but doesn't break out either. Preston just letting go of the hold. Goes for the pin. Yeah. One, two, two, and that is it. Three, wow. Axel must have passed out in the hold. Ref didn't see it. Preston. Getting the Huge pinfall win, there. Preston Knight. Statement win for the rookie. KB loves it. Wow. <clears throat> Absolute shock. I can't believe that, honestly. <clears throat> Axel now Excellent win. three to start season two. He's got to start what turning if, things around here, leading up to the pay-per-view if he wants any shot to get his championship back. What is wrong with Axel? There is, like, 0-3 after a Rookie of the Year campaign, sweeping any belt he could get his hands on, and he starts off like this. It's a truly unbelievable start to the season. Maybe Axel got a bit complacent. 
after the season he had last sophomore year. Sophomore slump. Yep, that sophomore slump. Next up, we got Rose taking on the rookie Sabrina Yates. Sabrina coming off a victory against Leslie. Rose coming off her first loss of the season against Miss Gotcha. You wish Akuma could have kept the mind games out of us, but can't help but cheer for the rookie. Hey, Akuma seems to be around every single corner for Axel. I'm sure Akuma's uh, in a way worse mood considering uh, his associate, Kuma, also was short this past Friday against Nathaniel Oliver. So yeah. it hasn't been exactly great, uh, so great week for that side of the pond. <laughs> <laughs> All right, predictions are up for this matchup. Yes, Rose coming off her first loss. Sabrina coming off her first win. So, <clears throat> two different sizes of spectrum here for this matchup. Rose looking to not go into a losing streak, and Sabrina looking to go on to a winning streak. <clears throat> yes, sir, one's looking just a little bit more uh, back against the wall. The other one's feeling real good, wanting to ride the momentum. We're going to see which one prevails here. Who's going to want it more? See if another rookie can pick up a victory over a veteran here in this matchup with Sabrina and Rose. Rose may have lost last week, but Rose has had a great season so far. A definite turnaround uh, from a very lackluster freshman year here in BCW. Agreed. She's looked a lot better even with that loss last week. She's looked so much better here in season two than she did back in season one. This is going to be very interesting. Very interesting indeed. See if Sabrina can ride that momentum. Sabrina, yeah, Sabrina picked up her victory over Leslie Powers, so another another rookie. So I believe this will be the first uh, veteran that Sabrina faces, if memory serves me correct. I think she's only faced rookies up to this point. So it only makes sense. Leslie last week, and then she was in that ladder match back on day zero, which was all rookies. <clears throat> so yeah, this will be her first match against the veteran. Makes perfect sense. I mean, lost first couple, got a win against a rookie, only makes sense now. Mm -hmm. Goes up against someone with the same expertise level as Rose. It's how you only get better. <coughs> Sabrina gonna make her way to the ring now. Sir, very exciting time for the rookies across the board here in BCW. Yes. A lot of ex exciting new faces here in Season 2 for everybody. Yes. Sabrina looking for a statement victory here. And uh, going forward for Midnight Mayhem, uh, records will be, or not records, I'm sorry, uh, rankings will be posted weekly over on the Discord. And so the top two on the Go Home show for March to War will face off to determine the number one contender. Rankings are determined by singles records only, so the ladder match that Sabrina lost earlier in the season will not count against her record. So if she were, hypothetically, to win this matchup here tonight, she would be 2-0, and not 2-1. and And if Rose wins, then she would be 3-1. and Yeah, 3-1. and <clears throat> So multi-person matches do not affect your singles record or your ranking for either of the championships going forward. Oh, nice strike from Rose right out the gate, but Sabrina blocked the second one. Springboard head kick to follow it up. Was not a fan of that first strike. <laughs> <laughs> I remember her wrestling in TikTok leggings. Hey, I mean, while it didn't work out for the ladder match, it didn't seem to be a problem against Leslie a couple weeks ago back on St. Valentine's Day Massacre. No, See, I'm this is why... Week. Go ahead. See, this is why I'm always insulting the intelligence of our Twitch chat. Who's bitching about TikTok leggings? KB. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what are you? <laughs> KB with those shadow takes. <laughs> Must be mobile. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't want to insult KB that bad. Come on, all let's right, not bury right. the poor guy. He already lost his name. Uh, what are you talking about? KB's not in BCW anymore. He retired. Oh, that's right. He retired. Yeah, right. Yeah, he yeah. retired. I'm yeah. Totally, totally hiccuped. Yeah. 
He's not here anymore. Oh, he's in UFC now. That's right. Well, I'm glad he's... Oh, he's in UFC. That makes sense. He Brock Lesnar does super hard. That's shitty. That is shitty. I'm a little upset. <laughs> we offer you more money, will you come back? <laughs> it's a lot Wait, safer so over here. Wait, so honestly... That analogy works shit. out super well, because wasn't it Axel the one who retired him? Yeah, sure was. <laughs> yeah, no one liked either one of those two, and no one liked the Goldberg Brock match either, so it kind of worked out. The only difference is Axel stuck around. <laughs> Good lord. Anyway, back to the action. Sabrina had Rose on her shoulders, but Rose was able to get a reversal there. Bring Sabrina down, now going for the ground and pound. Sir, you mentioned the rankings earlier. Uh, I believe you said Rose is three and one. If she wins this match, she will be three. And if one. this match is two, yes, gotcha. Sir. As well, of right three now, and one. she is two and one in singles competition. Gotcha. Well, I mean, exiting this match three and one, or in Sabrina's case, coming off of a two-match win streak, it's going to be very hard to deny either one of these ladies are uh, one hundred percent in contention. Yes. For that women's championship moving forward, regardless who wins. What's up, Koma? <laughs> Too late. I've been paid in BCW, AWE, and INEW. Rose got that submission locked in. Sabrina, though, able to get out of it very quickly. <clears throat> Rose has put a lot of women away with that so far. Nice oh, kicking yeah, combinations kick. from Sabrina. That's what she pinned Leslie with last week. She knows she's going to have to do more to Rose. Possibly looking for that eclipse. Connects. Got it. Hooks the leg. Is that enough? One. One. Two. Two. No, Rose. The last second. Point nine nine. Yeah. Might be the closest three count I've seen. Think an eclipse again? No. Oh, drop Thinking, kick. Yeah, drop kick. Connected with enough of it. Able to take Rose down. I'm going to work on the legs of Rose. Trying to keep this momentum in her favor. <clears throat> there, Sabrina's laying in a lot of shots right now. She's got to hit another big offensive move if she wants to take her out right now. These little jabs ain't going to do it. <clears throat> no, they're not. She's got a submission locked in now, center of the ring, or close enough to the center of the ring. Stretching Rose's back out. Crossed her knees. Rose, though, not going to tap out. <clears throat> Sabrina going after the arm. Rose gets a reversal. Trying to get things back into her favor. She looking for here. Ooh, and a guillotine. Guillotine. She's got it locked in. Sabrina with nowhere to go. Sabrina going to tap. No. Sabrina Ooh. able to get out of these submissions very quickly. Great willpower from Sabrina there. <laughs> Is that why all I got was beef jerky and Gatorade? <laughs> the lights have gone off. Oh. Rose behind Sabrina. Like Strikes right to the head. But Sabrina, like both women now, just reversing, going back and forth. Sabrina going back to the top rope. Rose not capitalizing on the distraction. Oh, she tried, but Sabrina was able to block the second strike. Sabrina and another eclipse. With another eclipse. Is that enough? One. One. Two. Two. No. Rose oh. again at the last possible second. And Sabrina can't believe it. That's Sabrina crazy. is in shock. <laughs> the durability of Rose right now. Holy shit. It is. Ridiculous. Absolute toughness. Nice strikes from Rose. Sabrina coming off the middle rope there, but Rose able to get out of the way. Kick That's to the some gut. shades of Matt Charles esque kickouts <laughs> right there. <laughs> yeah, it is. Kuma got anything going on tonight? He doesn't have a scheduled match, but he did distract Axel in the first matchup earlier, costing him his match against the rookie Preston. What a dick. <laughs> what a dick. <laughs> Oh, I got some BS going on. <laughs> Rose trying to keep the momentum on her side. Sweeps the leg. Is the submission locked in? Thur. That sweeps the life out of her. Sabrina not quite close enough to the ropes for a rope break. Rose applying the pressure. 
Sabrina, though, Long does not up. tap out. But doesn't break out of the submission. Rose hooks the leg. Good in there. One, two. Ooh. No, Sabrina oh. kicking out at two. Rose, not happy with the ref on that one. Thinks he should have counted a bit faster. Rose now stalking Sabrina. Could be looking for it again. And she is. Back yep, to back. Another one. Closer center to the center of the center Sabrina with nowhere to go still. Wow. She has spent a lot of time mm. in this fucking hole. Sabrina, though, Jesus. able to power Jesus. out. Deliver some strikes to Rose. Force her to let go of the hold. Incredible performance from the Rook. <laughs> Those leggings really help with the flexibility there. You know, KB, Absolutely. they might. <laughs> nice DDT <laughs> from Sabrina. For those kicking and another combinations, kick. connects, hooks the leg. Is that enough? One. One. Rose. Oh, she got the rope. Grabs the rope. Oh, the great. ring IQ from the veteran. The rookie mistake there from Sabrina. Not dragging her away from the ropes, but she's gonna do it now. <laughs> Might be a little too late though. Maybe a third eclipse. No. No, looking for an, S oh, an STF, STF in the middle here. Of the ring. Center of the ring. Is that gonna be it? And that is it. Rose yes, taps out. Wow. What a match. Excellent win there for Sabrina. Jesus. Took everything in the kitchen sink to put her away, but she just could not overcome that STF. Great performance from both these ladies. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. <laughs> I don't think KB's gotten the last two right. Or no, no, he picked Preston. Never mind. <clears throat> Win streak for Sabrina, losing streak for Rose. Hopefully yeah. Rose can uh, recover here, but it's Sabrina. Here midnight Mayhem. <laughs> Corey yeah. KB. Oof. Uh, will yeah. that continue? Crazy J taking on the debuting Liam Masters. Liam Masters, a second generation superstar, nephew of Chris Masters. I already like this guy. <laughs> I already like him. Alrighty. Let's see what this rook's got against a established <laughs> veteran crazy guy. Fucking do it. Now that's the entrance of a superstar in the making. See, I do know he does utilize the Master Lock as well, and I think he has like a modified Master Lock Powerbomb type deal as a, his finisher. So we'll see which one he goes to tonight. I am excited to see what this man can do. He's already impressed me with the look, impressed me with the entrance, impressed me with the swagger. But what really matters is what he can do in between those ropes. Exactly. Presentation means nothing if you can't back it up inside the ring. Exactly. We'll see if rookies will go three for three here tonight. Kuma sets his eyes on something you can't stop him, KB. Yeah, you can. Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how that works, KB. Because, yeah, he's not a ghost. I'm not sure what he is, but he's not a ghost. I believe the, the word we used for in the first match when he made his uh, sort, quote-unquote, appearance was a deity, is what we went with. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but Kuma can let us know what he is exactly. Or at least what to call him. Crazy J, one of the older members of the BCW roster, making his way to the ring. But with that age comes the experience. Absolutely. Taking nothing away from Crazy J. A former BCW world champion. So yeah, not an easy task for Liam here tonight. 
Going against the former world champ. No, sir, but like we had mentioned earlier, uh, between Preston and Axel, great opportunity <coughs> for Liam Masters to make a statement out of the gate. It is, it is indeed. What a way to make a statement than in your first match being a former world champion. <laughs> Leave my son? Question mark? Alone? <laughs> <laughs> Look, but we only ask because we don't know. <laughs> We're trying to figure it out, man. If anyone knows, it should be you. You created him, somehow. Liam, I'm ready. Doesn't seem phased by his first match at all. Goes right into the tie up. Big suplex from Liam. Picture perfect suplex. Crazy, he throws him into the corner. Ties his leg up in the ropes. Give a nice kick. Crazy backing up, blocking the shot from Liam. Crazy uh, playing a real smart, conservative game plan so far. Yep, rookie comes out hot and ready to make a point. Crazy notices that he's going to try and slow this pace down just a bit. More slow and methodical pace. Definitely benefits Crazy J. Oh, yeah. Pop and feed you with the ice. <laughs> yes, sir, KB. <laughs> <clears throat> Crazy J continuing to work on the legs of Liam here. A suplex from Crazy J. Crazy Jay has Great. turned all the momentum around. Liam came out super hot <laughs> with a strike and a nice suplex, but ever since then, Crazy Jay has been able to slow this match down and put all the momentum in his favor. Throw Liam, Liam looks back in uh, the corner. Liam looks taken aback right now. Definitely thrown off guard by how athletic and how quick Crazy Jay is to fight his age. For sure. Liam definitely thought he would have the advantage and a quickness and athleticism in this matchup. And while that might be the case, that experience, way more of a factor than Liam might have thought. Good block there from Liam. Now he's got crazy Gets him up on up. Oh, and he's going to powerbomb him outside to the floor. Good Excellent lord. Excellent move. That'll make up some ground. There you go. Smart decision from Liam Masters. Going up to the top rope. Oh, double axe handle off the top. Man took the super soldier serum. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy trying to turn things around here. Gonna return oh the favor. Oh no. Power bombing oh, him onto the ring apron. Oh, and Please. slamming him into the apron for good measure, too. Good lord. Crazy Jay was not a fan of being power bombed outside the ring, and I can't say I blame him. <laughs> <laughs> nice receipt for the rookie. And again, it will block that double palm strike to the gut that Crazy likes to use so much. Throws him into the barricade. Liam trying to decide what to do next. Nice strike. Liam now going at a more slow, methodical pace. Yes, sir. Okay. Taking his time. Yep. And Crazy J back into the barricade. Referee's kind of up to six. These gentlemen need to get back into the ring. I don't think Liam would like his first victory to be via count out here. Referee's count is at seven. Liam, gonna throw Crazy J back into the ring. He's gonna follow him back in. A nice strike from Liam. Possibly looking for that master lock. For Crazy J, we're gonna get a reversal. So there's a nice uppercut. Well scouted there for Crazy J. Yep. Able to get himself out of a very dangerous situation there. Let's see what he's thinking. Oh, Liam with a reversal. Cash and crazy jet salt from Liam. Ooh. Liam now taking his time, picking Crazy J apart piece by piece. Oh, and what a move oh. from the rookie! <laughs> Hooks the leg. Ah. One, two, no. Crazy J got a kick out at two. Hey, this is your first match on a global scale like this. You got to show off. You got to make yep. yourself known. There's that and here we go. Lock. It's like he's got it locked in. 
crazy. You gonna tap out? Maybe try, uh, maybe breaking that hold a little bit. No, oh, does not break I it, but Liam, let's go. <clears throat> Yeah. Maybe didn't have Ooh, it locked in as tightly as he wanted, but regardless, crazy did not break the hole. Hung him up in the ropes. Sure. Nice kick to the spine from Liam. Goes for the cover. Goes Does the not thing. hook the leg. Two. Two. Oh, and crazy. With a late Ooh. kick out there. Whew. That was really late. Wow. All right. Liam with a stomp to the back of the head. Crazy able to Oof. roll out of the way. A lot of perseverance so far tonight on Midnight Mayhem. We've seen a lot of folk kick out of some big moves. Yeah, we have. <laughs> oh, strike from Crazy J. Sweeps the leg. Big Russian leg sweep. Balls it up with an elbow to the spine. Going to work on the arm of Liam. Probably a good idea. Can't get that master lock locked in. Ooh, big throwback. Taking sharpshooter. He's got him in got the center him. of the ring. Is Liam going to tap? Crazy. Applying Working all that. the pressure. Come on, Liam. No. Liam doesn't break, but he also doesn't tap. Crazy hooks the leg. One, two. Two. No, Liam oh. kicking out at two. Crazy Jay not happy really with the official here. there. He counted a bit slow. <clears throat> Crazy look for oh, Fisherman suplex. Yeah, suplex. By going up to the top rope, we don't see Crazy do this often. For a leg drop, leg drop, and that Miss is why it. we don't see him do it often. Oh, Masters, mm -hmm. no. Reversal, another reversal. Oh, wow, what? nice German. German suplex from Liam. Great sequence there. See one here. Gonna throw Crazy J back into the corner. He's taking it again. Looking. Got Delivers. it. Delivers. Hooks the leg this time. One. One. Two. Two. No, crazy. Kicking oh. out at two. Early two oh. this time. No doubt about that one. Sir. Perseverance of Crazy J and Masters is Master taking Master Lock. He's got it. Climb pressure. And that's it. Crazy and that's J. it. Taps out to the master lock. Liam rough, using it just as well start. as his uncle. Rough start there for Liam, but he pulled it through and got a huge win over a former world champion. I'm seeing bright things in the future for this kid. I think KB might be right. It might be rookie showcase night here on Midnight Mayhem. Yes, sir. <laughs> let's go, rookie night. It's Liam thinking and Liam, let's get here. Liam. Attacking Crazy J now after the yeah. match. That's that kind of attitude I like to see. Make a name for yourself, kid. Referee able to separate him. Love to see that kind of behavior. Alright, next Make up we got Alyssa taking on Roxanne. Oh, I just realized for the prediction I put Crazy K instead of Crazy J. Oh well. <laughs> you guys knew what I meant. Crazy K. <laughs> Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Damn. <laughs> no love for Crazy J in the chat. <laughs> At least not for KB. Yeah. Crazy J with the go away heat. Not gonna lie, didn't see that one coming. Me either. <laughs> <laughs> Roxanne looking oh. to pick up her second singles victory. Uh, Got her first one back at St. Valentine's Day Massacre against the surprisingly resilient Gwen. Thought that was going to be extremely one-sided, but Gwen, Gwen's got quite the fighting spirit, to say the least. But did not help her against Roxanne and Alyssa. I believe this is her first match <clears throat> since uh, her world title opportunity back on episode one against Anna Lane. So she's looking to bounce back here as well. Yes, sir. Another very exciting rookie versus veteran matchup. Yep. It might be rookie showcase night. It might be. <laughs> anything uh, that we've seen earlier is anything to indicate. 
Roxanne should uh, be feeling real good about where she's at, but it's a yeah. different situation, case to case basis. Yeah, like you said, a list channel points, I, I bet him on Roxanne apparently. The way this night's <laughs> going. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, you know, like you said, Alyssa, coming off of a failed world title opportunity. So definitely looking to bounce back. Definitely high stakes for all these competitors so far uh, tonight on Midnight Mayhem. A lot to lose, a lot to gain on the line. That is for sure. Alyssa having a successful season one, uh, to say the least, ended up finishing with the 6-2 and two record. Uh, her and of course, her brother adjacent winning that mixed match challenge, earning them both title shots. Her brother was successful, as we saw, uh, but Alyssa unfortunately could not, uh, did not find the same success against Anna Lane. But as we have seen time and time again against Anna Lane, it is hard to find success against her. Roxanne now dropping Alyssa across that top rope. Good lord. So, a question out of curiosity, because I know you mentioned earlier about the rankings. Yes. Is there a current number one contender for the women's division, or is this still a work in progress? Uh, it is still a work in progress. I mean, we haven't had a lot of this is week yet. four. Yeah, this is week four. Okay. So, but we're trying to get. We can only get so many people, obviously, on the show. We can't get all ten to wrestle every night. Uh, but this is right. Roxanne's second singles match. So if she wins, she would be two and zero tied with Sabrina. I believe both of them outside of Sophia, who was obviously the women's television champion at 3-0, and so she will not be in the rankings. Uh, they would be 1-2 and two if Roxanne picks up the victory here. And then gotcha. if not, I would assume if my if I'm remembering correctly, Rose would probably be at 2 with the 2-2 two and two record. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Because I think most records are one and one. Yeah, outside of Anna, who's one and one and two and oh. Has she had another match? She's had another match. She just had a match. When was her last match? I know she just had one. Ah, uh, shit. Thought. I can't remember. Maybe not. I know she ended against Alyssa, but I right. can't remember if she. I thought she had another match. She did not. Okay. So Anna's only had the one. <clears throat> Alyssa hooking the leg. Roxanne kicks out. Yeah, outside of Sophia. Uh, Roxanne, if she wins this match, Sabrina and Rose would be the only women competitors at the moment with at least two victories. Alyssa well, showing off some strength. A very unique submission hold. Yes. Roxanne, though. Hey, we'll get out. Yeah. Probably Roxanne's the only women's competitor here to match Alyssa in size and strength. Roxanne is very impressive. Yes, that is for sure. What's up, DA? Big elbow drop from Roxanne. Shook the whole ring on that one. Yeah, she did. Kick to the gut. What's she looking for here? Oh no, Roxanne. Looking for that same there submission that Alyssa had her in. <laughs> Didn't appreciate it. Let's see how she likes it. Return in the favor, but Alyssa able to power out relatively quickly. Nice arm drag takedown. Like you said, these two rival in strength. Alyssa doesn't want to look inferior there. Mm -hmm. Getting out of that as quickly as she can. You heard Roxanne wants to train at the Stag Dojo. Where are you getting your information from? Listen, Probably the Stag Dojo is scouting at all times. If Roxanne were to be interested in a Stag Dojo contract, her people can speak with Stag. Nice kick to the head there from Roxanne. <laughs> <coughs> Roxanne, look at that one hard power bomb. Delivers, hooks the leg. One, two. Oh, Ooh. Alyssa. Kicking out at two and a half there. I can say this though, we did have a problem at the dojo a couple weeks ago when we set, found some homeless lady named Miss Mountain Dew rummaging through our trash. Oh, how the hell so, did you get there? Yeah, I mean, I get it, it's a nice looking building, but Jesus Christ. Fractures what are they paying over there? <laughs> what are they paying over there? They're probably not. <laughs> they probably gave her like three sticks of juicy fruit and called it a day. They gave her, they definitely gave her some Mountain Dew, they had to have. 
<laughs> not Ellie Mae. <laughs> not Ellie Mae. <laughs> so, girls gotta... Uh, you know what, KB? I'll give it to you. I don't know how the hell you remembered her name. <laughs> hey, Ellie... Ellie Mae's lucky, okay? I hear RJ Stagg has an armed guard there. She could have gotten shot if they looked at her wrong. They could have thought she was a wild animal. <laughs> Jesus. Poor Listen, Miss Mountain I... catching strays <laughs> on commentary for no reason. Roxanne going for that one arm power bomb again. Delivers. Two. No, let's kick it out at two. A lot earlier that time. Drunk memory comes in handy, clearly. My memory's not even that good. Good lord. She's catching strays on commentary because she she's also catching strays for her dinner today. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> she's a prophet for her tattoo. <laughs> Alyssa tossing Roxanne over her head there. <clears throat> Great hallway slam there. I think they're just trying to one-up each other on strength at this point. Sir. The woman equivalent to a Haas fight. You'll have to see it. Yeah, it is. This is the feeling of Matthew and Melosi from last week. <clears throat> when Roxanne just catching Alyssa's fist there and delivers a headbutt to follow it up. Good lord. Brutal headbutt. Making another one. Oh, we're looking for the submission this time. Oh, wow. <clears throat> is it locked in? Alyssa nowhere near the ropes. She's yeah, not that was here, and yeah, and Melissa gonna tap out. And rookie night continues. <laughs> Another impressive performance for Roxanne. Excellent, excellent work from all the ladies so far on Midnight Mayhem. It's a deep division, one hundred percent deep, deep division. Uh, after this, we are going to go to the back. It looks like Dean. Has caught up with Liam. He's gonna go ahead and explain his actions against Crazy J after their matchup a second ago. The <clears throat> Pets better get it together. <laughs> it's season one anymore, boys and girls. You ain't shit, baby. Know. Jesus. Strong words from Liam there. Yes, sir. Know your worth, kid. Damn. Yes, I think they, sh they should. Re they should release him. I agree. Crowd, not very happy with uh, Liam's answers here. That's fine. They don't appreciate a talent like Liam. I heard them when he was making his entrance. I saw them cheer for that has been Crazy J. Lee, every point Liam just made is absolutely valid. Week four, it took a star of his caliber to get on this show, while others, like, I fucking Chicken Doodle wrestled on this show twice. Come on. Chicken Doodle is a former champion, two time champion, no less, to be fair. Yeah, and look at him. Yeah, he hasn't had a great start, just like Axel, but, you know, it's never too late to turn the season around. But, uh, Liam, if you ever want if you ever want to take a look at the Stag Dojo, you know exactly who to call. I'll make sure a business card is in the locker room. I have a feeling Corporate Angel will uh, not be taking you up on that one. I don't think he'll be letting Liam go anytime soon. <clears throat> Speaking of, Red Angel is taking on Alexander in a... Rare singles matchup for Alexander, normally just competing in the tag team division with his tag team partner, a B. Obviously, Alexander, one half of the current tag team champions. Uh, coming off a loss last week to Vibe after uh, Alexander shifted all his attention instead of to focus on Vibe, just decided to beat the hell out of Brandon Collins, losing to Vibe by countout. So, we'll see if Alexander can uh, channel his focus this week on the Red Angel. Red Angel looking to have continuing success from Season 1 that he did. Or continue his success from Season 1 here into Season 2. 
only having his second matchup so far. First match all the way back in day zero against Protege. So maybe a little bit of ring rust from Red Angel. It's been a little over a month since he's competed in the ring. Whereas Alexander competed last week. See if that has a little bit to, uh, if that plays into any type of factor. Vet on vet. That's one way to pre prevent a, another rookie dub. <laughs> we got more rookies on the show, don't you worry. We still got Melosi, Bryce, Dylan's got a match. This should be a real, real interesting match. Alexander, you know, obviously more so known for his tag team ability, but, you know, you can't deny his ability in the ring no matter what kind of match. And Red Angel, obviously a well-known vet, clear star in this company. He's made his intentions known uh, since the begin before the beginning of the season. He has not been able to capture that world championship, completely eluded him. So getting a big win here tonight against a champion would be a great, great way to start on that path. Would indeed, but rather Alex competing strictly in singles usually or not, it is going to be a tough matchup. These two gentlemen know each other very well. They've known each other for two decades. So they've come up in this business together, Alexander and Red Angel training with each other. So I don't, outside of Twig, I don't think anyone knows Red Angel inside and out in that ring better than Alexander. And of course, these two have also faced in tag team matches with the Reckoning and Saiyan Assassins, so they're not strangers to each other by any means. Uh, the Saiyan Assassins beat the Reckoning recently, right? Or was it the other way around? Uh, no, Saiyan Assassins did beat the Reckoning recently. So yeah, Reckoning. never mind. Sorry, this is Red Angel's first singles match in a month. Uh, but only yeah. his second match this month. I did forget about that tag team match. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was a non-title match, I think, right? It was the Correct. first episode. Yeah, non-title match. Saiyan yeah. Assassins were victorious nonetheless. Alexander going to throw Red into the corner. And deliver him face first into that middle turnbuckle again. <laughs> Shadow tag teams? Yeah, we know you don't know what those are. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fufa. Big move from Red Angel there. Angel's offense in general. Look, Angel's offense in general looking a lot more crisp this season so far. He's definitely looked like he's gotten all of it together, in my opinion. Yes, Red Angels seem to change it up a bit here in the off season. Uh, maybe for the better, maybe for the worse. Who knows? Oh, wouldn't for that running knee strike, but Alexander good block. block it. Taking the match back over. <laughs> His size may fool people, but this man is an imposing wrestler. If he gets you on the mat, he's going to bend you each way to Sunday and strike your damn head off. I'll tell you what, he is one of the more aggressive wrestlers on the BCW roster, and that is saying a lot <laughs> sure. with people like Matthew and Akuma. <laughs> I'm thinking Moonsault. Ooh. Red Angel rolls out of the way, though. Which involves is... tag teams. Not real tag teams. It involves two people teamed up with each other. It involves WWE-esque tag teams. <laughs> it's even two random people up with each other and calling it a tag team. <laughs> like Becky Lynch and Lita. <laughs> Alexander hooking the leg. Two. Red Angel kicking out at two. Alexander looking for that kick to the arm. Probably looking for the submission afterwards. Ooh, Connects with the kick. Big kick. Gets him right back up. Ring in the arm. Ring in the arm. Red, though, can deliver some strikes to the midsection. Make him let go. He knows Alexander wants that arm bar. Ooh! Nice move from Red Angle. Springboard Moonsault connects somehow. Impressive midair <laughs> movement from Red Angel there. He bounced off the bottom rope there. I didn't think he was going to get all of it. Connects with the Reckoning. Hooks the leg. Center of the ring. Two. No. Oh. Alexander kicking out at two. An early two. And Red is shocked. But Red hasn't done a whole lot of damage to Alexander as of yet. Only hit big moves so far. Hey, big sudden jolt DDT like that. Maybe just the shock he was hoping was going to put him away. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. 
Alexander stalking Red Angel again. Going back to the corner, trying to decide what to do next. Taking too much time here. He's taking a Does lot of time. Code? Doesn't seem like it matters. Oh, Ooh. good lord. Into the, the rope. Leg. Could not have felt okay. good for Red. <laughs> Red kicking oh. out it too. God damn. Creative offense, that's for damn sure. Indeed. <laughs> I mean, hey, whatever works. Alexander yeah. slipping out there. Inverted DDT gets him back on the ground. Alexander's looked really good so far. He has looked really good. Was not able to find any success in the singles matches back in Season 1. He only had two of them, but he did lose both of them. So definitely looking to turn that around this season, I'm sure. Albeit, he wants to focus on holding on to that tag team goal. Looking for that kick to the arm again. And connects again. Red has not been able to block that once yet. Nice suplex to follow it up. Alexander going to drag Red away from the ropes. Hooks the leg. Thought he was going to go for the armbar there, but instead decides to go for the pin. Ooh. Red able oh. to kick out at two. Good resilience there from Red Angel. Lights oh, lights. Out and Red taking Red. a page out of Rose's playbook there. Wow. <laughs> See if it helps. Big slam from Red Angel. Looking for a submission. Is Alexander in the center of the ring with nowhere to go? I don't think he's done quite enough to get Alexander to tap out. And yeah, Alexander can be able to power out of that submission hold here. Angel using more tactics than just the ones in the ring this season from the looks of things. Got to do what you got to do to get that victory. Absolutely. I'm not complaining whatsoever. I'm enjoying the change of attitude for some of the veterans here in Season 2. Alexander hooks the leg. Red going to kick out. Forearms to the back. Not quite enough. We don't see Alexander get too many pinfall victories. While he is aggressive, he's, doesn't, he, he kind of hits hard. He hits hard and fast, but submissions are usually his bread and butter. It's very rare we see him get a pinfall victory. So it's kind of interesting to see him go for so many pinfalls here tonight. I'm surprised we haven't seen him lock in that arm bar yet. Trying to pull fast one. Yep. Red looking for the wing clipper. Delivers. Got it. Oof. Was Alexander over? Oh, Puts himself moment. between Alexander and the ropes. Very smart move from Red Angel. Ooh. Alexander, though, able to kick out it too, though. And Red can't believe it. Xander's taking a lot right now, but Angel needs to de dig down deep and throw that big haymaker. Looking for another away. reckoning. Delivers. Got Hooks it. the leg. Center of the ring. Is that enough? One, two. two. No. Oh. Alexander oh, oh, oh. somehow getting wow. the shoulder up, and Red is furious with the ref. Ooh, Maybe going for a bit too much the there. Press. Yep. Alexander rolls out of the way. There's that arm bar. That high risk move, Alexander's got that armbar cinched in. I don't think Red's gonna be able to get out and yeah. yeah Red uh, taps uh, out. Oh. What a match. That that's that has to be frustrating for Red Angel. Wow. Caught sleeping one second. That's all Alexander needed to get that arm bar in. Went for that big springboard move and Alexander rolled out of the way and capitalized on it. Alexander though. Some impressive resiliency taken out of a wing clipper and two reckonings. Absolutely impressive win there for the tag team champion. Making a statement after that count out loss last week to Vibe. Oh, wow. Great, great match so far. It's been a great show so far. There have been a lot of outcomes I've not expected. Makes two of us. There's been a <laughs> lot of surprising outcomes tonight. But that is what makes Midnight Mayhem so great. Alright. Rookie night will continue one way or another. But this time it's two rookies. We got Melosi Sanoa taking on Bryce Shaw. Good sir. Good sir. Uh, so let's see. He wrestled last week, right? Sonoa? Yeah, Sonoa. No. 
No, it was a week before that. You wrestled, yeah, two weeks ago against Matthew where he picked up a victory. That's right, okay. He's the one that's related to Samoa Joe. Correct. <clears throat> that's right. Yes. Bryce, I believe. Double check. Yes, Bryce is going to be looking for his first singles victory. Had a match back on day zero against Twig, but was not able to pick up the victory. And he's got a hell of a mountain to climb if he wants that first victory tonight. Take home Melosi Samoa, who has arguably been one of the most impressive rookies here in BCW so far. With a... Is he only one to know? I thought he had another match. Nope, he's the only one to know. But picked up a victory over Matthew at St. Valentine's Day Massacre. And then was in that Elimination Chamber match for the U.S. title. Where he put on, he had a great show in there, just unfortunately was not able to walk out victorious. And you want to talk about a clash of styles. Whew, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this one's going to be real interesting to see. Pelosi definitely with the uh, size and strength advantage, but Bryce definitely has the agility and athletic advantage, I would say. <clears throat> Both gentlemen, I believe, primed to be future stars here in BCW. Hell, Melosi has it on the back of his shirt as we see every night when he walks down to the ring. Undisputed future. And it's hard to argue looking at a man that's built like he is. Absolutely. Melosi's won so far here in BCW. Regardless, on a stage that big, being as young as he is, learning how to win is something that uh, is not easy to do. Yes. Bryce, not yet experienced. Uh, you said you haven't. He hasn't won yet, correct? Correct. He's only had the one singles match against Twig. Yeah. That's a big uh, confidence edge. Yeah. So, especially when you got someone as big as Melosi. Yeah. Posing his will immediately. Big slam there. Yeah. Like we mentioned Block. earlier during the women's matches about the rankings, Melosi, if he gets a victory here, will be 2-0 and with Chris Danger uh, putting them at 1-2. and in the rankings if Melosi's able to walk out victorious here tonight. i tell you what, Melosi versus Chris Danger sounds like a great matchup that I think I want to see. And we just might get it if they both continue their winning ways. That'd be a real test for the rookie. Melosi went for a big slap, but Bryce very uh, smartly rolling out of the way. Melosi catches the arm, delivers a headbutt, connects with that big chop. Oh. Missed that Ow. spinning back fist. Probably extremely lucky for Bryce. Big old turkey legs for fists. <laughs> Real. <laughs> I'm not sure what Melosi was going for here, but Bryce able to throw some elbows. Trying to. I don't know why Bryce keeps trying to grapple Melosi. It does not seem like it's going to work for him. I think Melosi needs to stick to that high flying offense that he utilized so well in his matchup against Twig back at day zero. While it wasn't able to get him the victory against Twig, he did look really good and almost was able to put the better in. Bryce somehow flipping Melosi over his shoulder there. <laughs> uh, Ooh! kick connects and takes the big man down. Sir, that man and knocked him the out. the top rope. Bryce thinking something big. Oh, what a Phoenix Splash, splash from Bryce Shaw! Bryce going to work on the arm of Melosi. What a bad idea. Not sure. Oh. Not sure. Missed the chop yeah. and ate another one. Good lord, Melosi Oof. tossing Bryce. I would have Thought capitalized off that Phoenix Splash there. I don't know why he didn't. I mean, he tried to connect with a slap, and Melosi moved out of the way and delivered a slap of his own. Ref taking his sweet time to get into position. Bryce Ooh. kicking out at two. I think Bryce took a little bit of extra time to recover there. Oh, Bryce somehow blocks the shot from Melosi. Both men trade chops. Good lord. I don't know if I want to trade strikes with Melosi. No. Bryce, though. Doing his best to hold his own. Looking for Wake that forearm. Is Bryce all the way burnt? Oh, and connects with the flying forearm. Uh, no, he's not burnt. Just face paint decision. Hooks the leg. Two. 
No, Pelosi kicking Ooh. out at two. Big shot there. It was a big shot. Crowd Bryce, you loving this match. Bryce is using uh, the advantages he possesses here. All of his big moves so far have been from the top rope from the springboard. Mm -hmm. Has a submission locked in. Not quite able to wrap that giant leg of Melosi around and apply too much pressure. Good lord, Melosi's legs. Damn near the size of Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> Melosi going to toss him out to ringside. Maybe for a count out? No. Ooh, Melosi. Gonna follow Bryce out there. Unfortunately for Bryce. Melosi. Drop him right across the apron. I think that might have busted him open. Might have woke him up. Oh, right into a scoop slam, though. Melosi throwing Bryce face first. Good lord. Went for a big clothesline, but Melosi had his arms up, able to block it. Some ridiculous strength from Bryce there. Somehow lifted <laughs> Melosi. Melosi's been manhandling him there for the last couple minutes. He got to try to throw his big haymaker, get yeah. him on the ground. Bryce not utilizing his high flying offense as much as I would have expected him to tonight. Trying to, for some reason, match Melosi in strength. And yeah, that's that's not going to work as he just flattens him there. Oh, and Melosi. Okay, going for the pin now. Anyway, one. Oh. <laughs> Bryce going to kick out at one. Melosi can't believe it, but I think uh, Bryce a little upset that he got off that pin originally. Maybe Melosi trying to play some mind games. Throw Bryce into the corner. Could be thinking Muscle Buster here. It looks like Sir, he is. He's big Delivers. Muscle Buster! Hooks the leg. That might be it. One. One. Two. Two. No, Bryce oh. kicking out at two. Melosi, not happy with the ref. He's counting a little slow. Melosi got that pressure point submission locked in. Bryce showing a lot of gut so far. Man's tasting his own blood, and he's still going toe to toe with a behemoth like Melosi. Did not tap Melosi. out either to that submission <laughs> hold. Oh, try. <laughs> Tried with the clothesline, but it did not work. Wow. Barely phasing Melosi there. Melosi got him up. Ooh, what? Oh, break his sir. legs. Good lord. That's one way to take away the high flying offense. Yes, sir. On to the ground and pound. Smart adjustment, Melosi. Going up with a kick to the spine. Big elbow right to the center of the chest of Bryce. Oh, Bryce ducking that strike. But it was a DDT. DDT. Hooks the leg. The one. No, Melosi what? kicking out at one. Good lord. Oh Bryce my. going up to the top rope. Reverse 450, oh, but four, Melosi no. gets the legs up. Melosi going to drag Bryce back to that corner. Another muscle buster. No, Bryce. Oh. Just scouted that time. Gets reversal. Cutter out of nowhere. Cutter. Could be looking for that forearm again. Out on the apron. Huge. Coming huge. for it. And he connects. Got and he it. busted Melosi open. Hooks the leg. One. One. Two. Two. No. Melosi. Oh. Kicking out at two and a half. Bryce is like, damn, oh. are you sure? <laughs> Do you believe in miracles? Come on, <laughs> Bryce. So it connects. Bryce, Bryce doing everything all. he can, trying to keep momentum in his corner. Oh, and tried oh, to strike, no. and that seems to be it's where he messed up. Yep. Melosi. Oh. Those strikes. Hooks the leg. Melosi making him pay. One. One. Two. Two. And that is it. Three. Melosi Damn. is victorious. But nothing to be ashamed of if you're Bryce. What a show. Still made Still made the big man taste his own blood, and that's what's important. You don't wow. get the win, make a statement. <laughs> if nothing exactly. else. Great, great Melosi versus right. Akuma. I want to see it. Right, we'll see. Akuma's busy with Axel at the moment. <laughs> Akuma? I want to see Melosi versus Akuma. Me too. That'd be a hell of a match. I'll tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, eh? Fuck Akuma. I want to see Akuma. <laughs> 
sounds like we got something going on backstage. We're gonna see what the cameras got here in a quick oh. second. What's going on? Is Liam okay? As far as I can tell, Liam is okay. Sounds like okay. it's got to deal with Shade. Shade, okay. Shade debuted last week, too. He did debut last week, picked up a victory over Twig. Interesting, interesting, interesting. And Paradox attacking Shade. Getting some revenge oh, wow. from St. Valentine's Day Massacre. And Shade, remember... Where? That main Damn. event for the United States Championship later tonight. Paradox just put him through a table. He's just going to walk away. Wow. Like I said last Par week, I'm sure Paradox is not going to let that attack slide. And there we see tonight the first repercussions of it. I'm sure that's not the last time those two gentlemen will cross paths. Yes, sir. Like I mentioned earlier, new attitude for a lot of the returning vets here, including Protege. Or, I think Protege, that's Paradox. That right? is Paradox. Hey, my bad. Okay. So many fucking peep names. <laughs> There's two. <laughs> A whole two. Hey, they sound close, though. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nope, won't even give you that. Yeah, it's, it's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll give it to you. Just, we'll, we'll be nice. <laughs> Are there only two out of here? Oh, no, just, just kidding. There's three. Yeah, three. Preston as well. So, uh, full disclosure, I don't know why, but for some reason this match has decided it's going to have audio issues. But, yeah, we'll, we'll just, we'll, we'll get through it. It's fine. Need that sponsorship that Fractured got a couple weeks ago. Uh, apparently, just for the audio. <laughs> I need a. <laughs> I need a Bose sponsorship. Yeah. Dylan has made his way to the ring. Now protege. Gonna make his way to the ring, in silence. <laughs> protege looking for his first win here on the season. Only had one other match, and it was against Red Angel back at Day Zero, where he was not victorious. Got connections? You got me with audio. Appreciate it, KB. <laughs> Protege was one of the later additions to the roster back in Season One. Only had five matches under his belt. Not a great record but not a terrible record finished with two and three so more losses than wins but wasn't super lopsided seemed to go back and forth protege sure. had to avoid that oh and two but parrot or not paradox i'm sorry dylan looking to avoid oh and three losing matches to paradox at saint valentine's day massacre and then last week to matthew the silence confused me yeah <laughs> I don't know why it happened. <laughs> Only for this match. We're gonna. Only if only John Moxley was here to drop an f bomb on live TV while the audio issues were happening. We'll go ahead and turn it up just to make you hear some of it. Dylan Ooh. coming out the gate strong here. Razor's Edge. Looking for it. Ooh, lead, of course. <laughs> nice springboard leg drop to follow it up. Now going to the ground and pound. Dylan, we saw him walking away from the ring last week after his match against Matthew. Not very happy. And I believe, actually, Matthew, if memory serves me correct, Matthew attack him after that match? Uh, I think. That sounds right. <laughs> I remember something involving Matthew. Dylan and post-match attacks is two for two, although the first one was not against him. It was a Paradox who he faced, got attacked after Shade, and then his second match, Matthew attacked him after getting the victory. Hopefully, <laughs> for his sake and or Protege's sake, that does not continue here tonight. 
Uh, however, this has been all Dylan so far. Dylan not happy with back-to-back -back losses. Proje will take back over with the dragon screw, getting him down on the mat. Look, looking for that submission. Going to try and stretch the big man across his knees. Dylan with the obvious size and strength advantage here. Although Protege is deceptively strong. It's like we were talking about with Alexander earlier. Oh, Dylan just tossing Protege out of the ring. What did you say Dylan's record was so far? 0-2 in singles Owen matches. 0-3 if you count the Elimination Chamber. That's right. That's right. So, yeah. Dylan going to need to do a lot of work to climb up those rankings here in the future. Sir, I, I, uh... I remember him impressing in all of his matches so far, but now he's got impressing he's in the really loss. Good, but yeah, he, he exactly. needs to finish. Exactly. Impressing in a loss can only get you so far. You got to start winning some matches. Yeah. Being the Dallas Cowboys is cool for a little bit, but eventually you might want to be the Kansas City Chiefs and actually win a thing or two. <laughs> Dylan. Showing a little bit more aggression in this matchup than we've seen in his previous three matches. Probably the mindset he's been in after not finding victory yet. Oh, and brutal oh, boot right to the face, busting Protege open. A lot of blood so far tonight. A lot of blood tonight, indeed. What is this, AEW? <laughs> <laughs> we already got the audio issue, so it might true. be. <laughs> that is true. I believe the referee's count is up to seven. Oh, good lord. The sound of Protege's back <clears throat> against the ring post there. Now the referee's count is up to seven. Up to eight. Protege stunned. Dylan, though, does not want to get a count out victory as his first victory. Ooh, not. Nah. Wouldn't say that was the best decision there for Dylan. I say take the win where you can. I mean, win honorably another day. Normally, Hopefully I would not agree, but when you start 0-1-3, yeah, you might just need a win any way you can to get things rolling first. Then, oh. Win honorably, win honorably when there's a title on the line. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> it's more than some champions can say, but hey, winning's winning. <laughs> it's hard to argue it sometimes. That's the best you're going to get out of me. I'd prefer <laughs> not winning honorably at all. But oh, trust me, it. we know. <laughs> Protege going for that submission again, but outside the ring. So even if Dylan does tap out, it's not going to mean shit. Dylan, though, able to get out of it again. Submission has not proved to be very useful for Protege. Again, the referee's count is at eight. Protege starting to stir. <laughs> KB, boy, do we know. Protege getting in right before the nine count. Throwing Dylan into the corner now. Trying to take things over. This has been all Dylan so far. Protege, though. Armbar using the ropes as leverage there. Come on, Zebra. You got to get a hold of that. That is clearly an illegal maneuver. Oh, vicious strike from Dylan as Protege makes his way back into the ring. Oh, and trying to break Protege's tailbone there. Good lord. Protege blocks the strike, delivers some of his own here. Zebra in solid black polo. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. You, Midnight Mayhem sucks for that. Wow. I can't even call them zebras on this fucking show. Oh, and a nice move from Dylan there. Hooks the leg. Is that enough to put Protege away? One, two. No, Protege kicking Ooh. out of two. Crowd. Very quietly chanting, we're not worthy. Choke slam from Dylan <laughs> connects. Oh, and Dylan does not the roof go the for the pin. Get over. Holy shit, the stat commentary. <laughs> oh, oh, a vicious strike from Dylan. Protégé tried to connect with a strike there, but didn't quite have the distance. Bert, or Dylan missing everything on that springboard, but Protégé still stunned from the strikes. Dylan dropping Protege across the top rope. Just throwing him to the other side of the ring by his ankle there. Hooks the leg. One, two, and that is it. Dylan, Three, wow. victorious. 
unconventional move to finish it, but hey, whatever works. Like we said, get that win any way you can. Sir, get a dub, or, yeah, I can't talk either. <laughs> get a W in the column, that's all that matters. Yep, and rookie night continues. <laughs> Actually, that's the last rookie, so rookie night was successful. Every rookie was victorious against a veteran here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointing loss there for Protege. Disappointing night for the veterans. Yes, sir. All right, next up, we got our main event, the United States Championship match between Brandon Collins and Shade. I first United States fraud of a champion. Yes, I didn't say Shade he was needs the to win that belt. But I will be right back while they do entrances. Absolute sickening. I cannot believe this. This fraud of a champion is able to walk around with this belt. I hope Shade wins that damn belt tonight. Only because it all belongs to Gotcha Mitch anyway. Fuck Brandon Collins. <laughs> I just realized this. He left me alone last week, too, to do commentary during Shade's entrance. What the fuck? Okay. Sorry, KB. I will get predictions up for you now. I step away for a second. Did you hear me? No, I did not. I said, I realized, he, he, le he left me alone to do commentary during Shade's entrance last week, too. What the fuck? Did I? Huh. <laughs> yeah, you did. I was like, this is weirdly deja vu right now. <laughs> maybe if Shade wouldn't just unnecessarily attack the Reckoning, maybe we'd actually commentate during his entrance. But alas, <laughs> that's not the case now, is it? <laughs> Some shit is afoot. Yeah. Fuck Shane. Came here straight for the Reckoning. For no reason. What do we do to him? Not shit. We let him come on our show. How does he repay us? Beat the shit out of all of us. I'm glad Paradox put him through that table. I'll say it. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking deserved it, that jacket. <laughs> you didn't yeah. deserve it. <laughs> Attacking Paradox at St. Valentine's Day Massacre with a kendo stick for what? For shits and giggles? Yeah, you know, what goes around comes around. Unfortunately, today, for Shane, it came around. And, and here's the quote-unquote current United States champion, Brandon Collins. Get that graphic off the screen! Who had uh, attacked and injured Gotcha Mitch last week. And then stole the United States Championship. Corporate Angel with the interesting decision to put him in the match for the United States Championship. But hey, I'm not here to question Corporate Angel. His logic doesn't make sense sometimes. It just is what it is. We just have to run with it. I am. Corporate uh, Angel's fine. an idiot. <laughs> Corporate Angel couldn't book his way out of a paper bag. The fact that this is a sanctioned match to begin with is a joke. Gotcha Mitch is the rightful United States champion. Brandon Collins is just bullying and politicking his way into a main event championship match. And it is absolutely disgusting behavior. Tell you what, I have absolute faith that when Gotcha Mitch is cleared to wrestle, he will be the first one to challenge for that United States championship when he comes back. When that will be, who knows? It could be a few weeks from now, it could be next week. Challenge. He's a champion, you idiot. Well, yeah, challenges, you know what I mean. <laughs> he will face Brandon for the belt. Basically, this to get is to, his right to, to, crown the, back. to crown the interim United States champion. Jesus. Unfortunately, with how this game works, we can't do that. So, just <laughs> no canon-wise, this is the interim champion. <laughs> but that is what it is all about. <clears throat> United States Championship. 
Shade and Brandon Collins. Let's go. Brandon eat with the eat defeat right out the gate. Shade rolls out of the way. That stomp misses everything on that knee. Brandon going to carry him to the ropes. Strikes from... Oh. I was going to say strikes from Brandon, but Shade just tosses him over his shoulder out onto the floor there. Good lord. Wow. Brandon showboating and Shade making him pay. <laughs> <laughs> Shut his big mouth up, Shade. Tell you what, I don't think I've ever disliked two superstars more in a match. I, I don't think I care who wins. <laughs> Whenever Mitch comes back, I want him to win his title, whether it's Shade or Collins. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. <laughs> this is weird. I don't know if I like agreeing with Stags. <laughs> Bound to happen eventually. Yeah. Oh, and Collins. Burning hammer. Dropping Shade right on his head there. Good lord. Wow. Going after the arm. <clears throat> What's he looking for here? Nice neck breaker from Brandon. Brandon taking his time between strikes. Springboard and Moonsault connects. Going to the top rope. We didn't see too much of Brandon in the ring against Mitch because Mitch put him away so quickly. Brandon does, uh, as much as he does do some high flying maneuvers like that right there, he does sometimes take the slow, methodical pace to his matchups. It's a very interesting combination. But it's worked for him in the past. We'll see if it will work for him tonight. Shade again rolling away from that stop. I think Collins was looking for a spinning back elbow there. Shade rolled out or was able to move out of the way and connected with a springboard something. I'm not quite sure to be honest with you. Has submission locked in but Collins right next to the ropes and yeah the referee going to call for the rope break. Shade with a knee to the arm. Backbreaker. Kick to the gut there from Shade. Hooks the leg. One. No. One. Collins Ooh. kicking out at one. Shade going to need to do a bit more than that if he wants to keep Collins down. Kick to the head. Collins. KB, uh, what are Shade's finishers? Do you know if he has any special names for him? Or specific names for him? Kick to the gut. Twist of fate from Brandon Eight. Collins. Hooks the leg. Er. One. Two. No, Shade kicking out at two. Shade. Brandon Collins looking good so weight. far. Collins putting all his weight in the head and neck area of Shade there. Very showboaty of him. You have no Not idea surprised. since this new weird thing? Alright. <laughs> Able to power through that kick to the back of Shades. Vicious elbow Ooh. strikes from Shades. Wow. As Collins up against the ropes. Springboard drop kick connects. Kick. Lifting Shade up, or Collins up. Looking for that kick. Black. Oh, uh, got connects. him. Might be out, maybe new interim US champ. Put Red Angel away with that over on AWE. Shade hooks the leg. Who's getting fed to One, Mitch? Two. No, Collins. Oh, kicks out at two. Damn it. Crowd chanting, we're not worthy. Oh, man. Shade just dragging his boot across the face of Collins and stomping away at the arm. As submission locked in, center of the ring. Collins with nowhere to go. Come on. Come on, Shade. Is Collins going to tap out. Choke the life out of him, Shade. Collins able to power out. Nice combinations from Collins. Has Shade up against the ropes now. Damn it, damn it, Coming damn off it. The rope. Oh, nice Ooh. kick. Falls it up with a stomp. Collins going back to the top rope now. What's he looking for? Moon Beautiful moonsault. Oh. Collins drops Shade. Ooh. Collins trying to get more back, more back onto his side. Oh, went for that knee, yes. but Shade caught him. Great defense there from Shade. Collins catches the strike. Back. Delivering some strikes of his own. Another twist of fate. Twist of fate. Hooks Damn the it. leg. Is that enough? One, 
two. two. No, shade. Oh. Kick it out at two. Shade's in a rough spot right now. He needs to change the tides real quick. Oh, it caught Collins him. connects with that knee. Is that enough? One, two. two. Oh, Shade. Oh. Good Lord. Collins not Ooh. happy. Thinks the ref needs to count a bit faster. Oh, I knew the black zebra knew what he was doing. <laughs> Collins hooks the leg. One, two. Shade kicking out again at two. Oof, oof. With every kick out, though, Shade's got to use more and more energy. Eventually, he's going to run out and not be able to kick out. Collins again with that neck breaker. Hooks the leg again. One. Ben, one. Damn. Get him, Shit. Get him Never mind. Shade kicks out at one. <laughs> Fuck what <laughs> I said. Springboard moonsault connects. Shade with the fighting spirit. Collins Come on, Shade. All his weight. <clears throat> That damn cube shit. <laughs> Collins, Collins going, up. going up to the top rope. Frog splash, but Shade got the Ooh, knees, up. knees up. Shade thinking. Ooh, Collins able to get a reversal no. though. Turns it into a, somewhat German. of a German suplex. Kinda, yeah. On a Hits knee the right knee. across the temple. Collins dropping the knee across the arm of Shade. For that neck breaker again. Does not hook the leg this time. Probably a good idea. It hasn't worked the first four times. Why would it work the fifth? Collins now stalking <laughs> Shade. Collins Sin thinking City it. Got driver. him. <laughs> good lord. Wow. Hooks the leg. One. One. Two. Two. And that is it. Three. Brandon That's Collins. Right. I knew that black zebra was an idiot. Shade <laughs> clearly got his shoulder up. Come on. Shade has a move, my guy. Unfortunately. Ah, uh, no, he got definitely got indeed. that. You saw the arm move there. It was the left side. Oof. KB took all his points that he won tonight and bet on Shade. <laughs> got none uh, of them. <laughs> classic decision making from the Twitch chat that I know. <laughs> all right. So it looks like Brandon Collins is your interim U.S. champ until Gotcha Mitch is cleared to return. We'll keep you all updated on that. But for now, whether we like it or not, Brandon Collins is the interim United States champion. Disgusting. It's hard to disagree with Stags here. Collins is trash. <laughs> I've never met a wrestler with more go-away heat from me than this man right here. But thank you all for joining us tonight. This has been Midnight Mayhem, and we will see you all next week. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen.